Hi everyone, so in this video we're gonna learn about this. Okay everyone, so in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to create a new page on Wix in 2020, alright? So to do this just log into your Wix account and choose the website where you want to add the new page. Click on this uh, site actions, click on edit site. All right, now go to this uh, left sidebar, click on menus and pages, and here you see all the pages we have in the menu. We have home, book online, clients, contact, about us, and we see them right here as well. So now to create a new page, we're going to go down to this one, click on add page all right now we got this uh, new page we're gonna name this to whatever we like I'm just gonna name it to test after that just click on done all right so now we have our new page right here in the menu we can also add another page to have under this page. So to do that, we're just gonna go and click add a new page. We're gonna name this to test sub page one. Click on done. After that, we're gonna click right here on the six dots and drag it one step to the right, like so. Now we have this page under this main page as a sub page. We can test this just by going and click on save. After that, just go and click on preview. And now we have test and we have the sub page test one all right let's go back to editor go and open up menus and pages now we see that we have these uh, three dots right here next to this uh, test text click on that and here we can see settings we can see SEO Google social share we can rename copy duplicate hide create this page as a sub page and we can delete the page so we're gonna have a look at settings click on that all right so first we have page info what's this page name so this is the name that you will uh, see in the menu so we can change this if you like we can also hide this page from the menu. Just check this one. And you can see that test is gone from the menu. Okay. So we want to show this uh, page on the menu. Like so. And now it's back. All right. We also have make this your home page. If you like to have this page as your home page, we're gonna click on this one, set. That means when the customers comes to maybe website.com, this will be the first page they will end up at. So if you want to remove this uh, as a home page, we need to go to another page. So we want to go to home, do the same thing, click on the three dots. Go to settings and make this your home page. Now click on set. And now we make home as our home page once again. All right, let's go back to test three dots. Click on settings. We also got advanced settings. So automatically optimize caching for this page or manually control its timing. We can click on learn more. 
So cache your pages. Cache rendering helps speed up your page loading time, while some pages may normally take up to a few seconds to load. Pages that are cached load much faster. All right. If you know what you're doing, you can manually control caching for this page and you can change how often do you want to reset this page cache from every hour up to every 24 hours. All right. In our case, we are going to do this automatically like so. Then we have layouts. We have standard layout. Standard pages have a header at the top and a footer at the bottom. As you can see, we have the header and we have the footer. We can also choose no header and footer. So this is a little different. Headers, footers and elements set to show on all pages aren't displayed. You can learn more right here. So if we click on this one, we see that the header and the footer is gone. Normally, you will use this one, standard. All right. Then we got permissions. We can show this page to everyone that comes to your site. Or we can add a password holders. That means if a user comes to this page, they need to enter the password that you have given to them. All right. So what's the page password? Here we can set the password. So password should be one character or more with no special characters. All right. So we can set a password like so. Hit enter. So to check this one, we need to publish the page because we cannot check this in the preview. So I'm just going to go up to the top right corner and click on this publish. Like so, then we're gonna go and view site. I'm gonna go and click on test. And now we get this one, guest area. Please enter the password below. So if I enter test one, two, three, four, five. We can now access this test page, all right? If we go back, we click on X, click on X. So that's password holders. After that, we got members only. So visitors need to sign up to see this page. You can click on learn more. So which members can access this page? All members. Or you can select only selected members or paying customers. If I click on this one, we got this one. Select from your member roles. We got admins. We can also add new roles by clicking on this uh, edit icon. Now we got this one. Select roles. Click on add new role. So choose which roles can access your members only pages. So we're going to click on add new. We can name this VIP a role color, maybe light green. You can add a description so we can add a short description for this role. This is not visible to members. So this is only for your eyes, all right? After that, we can click on save role. And now we can add members to this VIP role. Click on this one, add members. And choose the members you want to have in this uh, VIP role. So I only have myself. After that, just click on add, like so. And now we can see the members in this role, all right? So let's go and click on X. So that's members only. I'm going to choose everyone right here. So everyone can see this page. After that, we got SEO, Google, search engine optimization. So now we can 
customize how this will end up in the searches on Google. All right, so here we see the preview on Google. So this is uh, the preview on how it will look on Google searches. So here we can sh first change uh, the URL, so this one. As you can see, we got this test, and this is this one, test. So first we got this one. What's the last part or slug of the page URL? So every page URL ends with a slug that uh, tells people what this page is about. So keep it short and easy to read. Check out the Google preview about to see the whole URL. So if your page is about SEO, type SEO and you will see SEO at the end of this URL. All right. Then we have the page title on search results and browser tabs. So this one, test, what's media. You can change this to whatever you like. Like so. And you can see we have the new title right here. After that, we got what's the page about, add a description. So add a description about this page. So tell people more about what your site has to offer and encourage them to view this page. Your description should be between 50 and 300 characters, including spaces. So add a good description for this page. Something like that, 50 to 300 characters, including spaces. And we can see the preview right here. So that's a great way to optimize how you end up in the searches on Google. All right, we can also turn this off. So show this page in search results, turn off or turn on. All right, then we have this one, social share. Social share settings. Add the text and image that display when this page is shared on social networks like Facebook, Pinterest and more. So add a good image that represent this page. We can click on upload image. So you can upload your own media or choose media from Wix, Shutterstock or Unsplash. So let's say I want to do Unsplash. They have free content. I'm just gonna do this one. Go down to this one. Click on add to page. And now we have the image that will be shared when they share this page. And you can see the URL. And you can see that they get this title from our SEO customization. And same thing with description. You can change it right here as well. And same with description, all right? And if you can do advanced SEO, you have these uh, structured data, default meta tags, custom meta tags, and so on. So this is for you that know SEO and have more advanced skills, all right? So that's it for setting up the page. If you close this one and click on X right here, we now have the page right here. Now we have, we can change background if you like. We can add an image. And now we can see we get this background image. We can at any time just choose a color white like so. Then we have this plus sign and here we can add a lot of uh, things to fill your page up. We have text, image, button, gallery and so on. So this is uh, for you to play around. But uh, how this works is just uh, choose text. Uh, we can choose heading one. Click on the heading one and drag it to the screen and release. And now you can see that we got this heading one right here. And to add more just click on the plus sign. You can add maybe a paragraph drag it like so, click on the plus sign, we can add an image, you can choose my uploads, 
image collections. So let's say go to uh, free Wix images and just uh, search for an image. Let's say I want to have this one go down to the bottom right corner, click on add to page like so. And now we have the image where we can move it wherever we like and we can change the size like so. But uh, I think you understand how to do this. Uh, this is up to you to customize your own page because you can do a million different uh, variations. Okay, so you just play around with all of these options to make your perfect page. Alright, so this is how you can create a page on uh, Wix with all of these settings that you can uh, optimize for the perfect page. So I hope this helped. Okay everyone, so I hope this video helped you out. If you like this one you can give thumbs up, you can leave a comment below and also check out my latest video right here. So I hope you have an awesome day, take care and bye.